wow. I just finished watching Spaceman on Netflix. Adam Sandler, this is the best acting I've seen him do. I wrote everything down that I want to say. Amazing. Hanush is an amazing creature from space. This, to me, is already a classic film. This was beautiful. It's as good as Interstellar to me when it comes to space movies. Like I said, Hanush, an amazing creature from space also. I don't care what anybody says. I think this is as good as Interstellar when it comes to space movies. This movie next year should win the Oscars, in my opinion. It doesn't qualify, obviously, for this year, but it should win the Oscars next year. I don't even want to give spoilers, but I'm going to do it eventually. A lonely astronaut has to complete a space mission of a mysterious pink particles that are in the sky while his pregnant wife waits for him at home. He questions his state of mind and thoughts as a mysterious creature accompanies his spaceship. That's how I wrote it down. That's my synopsis. I had to write it down because I did find interest in the mysterious creature coming to space, to his spaceship, Hanush. Him being away from his wife, which is pregnant, and they're looking at the particles, the pink particles in the sky, and he's trying to complete this mission. Spoilers. I warn you, spoilers. I'm going to get to them right now. If you haven't watched it and you don't want to get the spoilers, stop watching this video and go watch the movie. Let's get to the spoilers. The connection between the creature, Hanush, and Jakub, which is Adam Sandler's name in the movie, Jakub, is amazing. When Hanush first comes to the movie, I thought, is he going to hurt Jakub? Is he evil? Is he a bad creature? Is the movie about Jakub, which is Adam Sandler, fighting Hanush? And since, since it looks like a spider, Jakub immediately tries to avoid it and even decontaminates the spaceship. The place as he locks himself up, he closes the door from where he's trying to be private, locks himself up, and then he asks the people from Earth to start the decontamination process. He doesn't tell them what he's seeing. He doesn't tell them, which is very interesting to me because what I love about this movie is how the connection between Hanush and Jakub stays personal between them. As he then realizes that this big spider is here to help him, not hurt him. So that's what I like the most. This creature helps him not be lonely because he's been feeling lonely throughout the movie. And like many times... With space and aliens, people on Earth end up not seeing what somebody says they saw whenever they see an alien or an extraterr extraterrestrial being. Well, here for all the right reasons, in my opinion, for all the right intentions, that's what happens with Hanush and Jakub. Only they get to experience the beauty of feeling less lonely through space then saving each other as they float through skies. So that's why I wrote that part because he does not tell the people that are going to start the decontamination process, the people on Earth working, helping him, which he's in a spaceship. And the great thing about that is a lot of times you see how it doesn't happen where people on Earth don't actually see what somebody else says they saw. But here it happens for the right intentions when it comes to aliens and extraterrestrial beings because it's so perfect to see how dealing with this loneliness, you see Hanush and Jakub, two different creatures, different species, help each other out and it keeps it between themselves private, personal, and it's a great experience. And when I tell you, man, when we last see Hanush, this was one of the most incredible moments of the movie. When we last see Hanush, it's one of the most incredible moments of this movie, man. I'm telling you, as Jakub gets out of the spaceship to save Hanush, and as Hanush tells him, these pink particles are the beginning and the end. 
amazing visuals. It's beautiful the way this looks, this movie. Man, I wish I could see it in the movie theaters, but I try to search it up. It's not on the movie theaters where I live, but it's amazing. This Netflix movie is amazing when it comes to the visuals. Hanush showing him around as he's in his astronaut suit as Jakub Adam Sandler is in his astronaut suit. Hanush, the creature's carrying him around and you see everything, the beginning, the end, all the memories. Beautiful, beautiful. You got to see it. Wow, man. You just have to watch the movie. I'm telling you. The emotions with Jakub's wife. Literally. One of the best parts because what she has to go through. As she misses him, of course, she's over here pregnant, waiting for him. It's been, it has to be a year. They show the movie while it's in the middle part. Six months left for him. And she misses him, of course, how she felt like she couldn't do this anymore because she, she couldn't do this anymore because she specifically wanted to see if he could show some care before and he didn't show enough care and importance to the things that matter, which was that relationship, relationship excuse me, between her, Lenka, and Jakub. She really wanted as a wife that relationship to be more together, but it feels like He's not there because he's literally not there. And the most important thing for her and for him, then he realizes with Hanush helping him realize this throughout the memories that he manages to see is that she's very important, of course, for this whole plot. The fact that she has his son, which is what is most important to him and her, that's what's more important than this mission. The fact that throughout all of this, a creature from space lets him know this and he figures it out as he remembers his father and the things that happened with his father, which was a very tough part, gets very, very deep. So at that point, Hanush helped them come together through these particles. And man, this is an amazing film. Seriously, when you get to the part where Jakub is trying to save Hanush and he avoids him actually getting all these little animals. I forgot the name that he uses his bugs on him. That was such a great heroic part where even Hanush tells him your actions were very heroic. Thank you. And all of that because he gets out of the spaceship and helps him. He puts the decontamination thing again. I think it was shh sprays him to try to save him and then tries to grab him and that's when actually hanu shows him all the particles in the sky and they're outside and the people actually on earth who are still trying to hear him in the spaceship are telling him abort the mission don't go out what are you doing because they're trying to look for his safety but hanush and jakub actually have one of the best moments overall where they just looking at everything and you can see all the memories from Jakub, which is Adam Sandler, with Lenka, all of the great times as they're enjoying the first time they met. And that's why Hanush, the creature, which is like a spider, says, this is the beginning and the end. And I'm telling you, man, you got to watch this movie. Adam Sandler did amazing. Everybody did amazing on his acting. Credit to Netflix. Great visuals. Great panorama when it comes to all of that happened on space is Hanush real or not I would like to think he's real and I think it that's what you could try to speculate if it's not a real thing that happened to him and he was just quote unquote going through this himself still as in Jakub Adam Sandler's going through this by himself but I think that's not what I want to think I think he was actually real and the fact that this has such a great connection and the hugs and everything, I think that's much more meaningful.